Today we are going to see some operational basic tricks for common signals. First one, step plus step will give me two step. This uh, means that addition of step signals will be a resultant step signal. The amplitudes of the parent signals will be added as it is shown here. Consider x1 of t a step signal of finite duration 0 to 1 and amplitude 1, x2 of t another step signal of the same duration and amplitude 2. When I add them, I should get another step signal, let's say x3 of t and the amplitude will be 3, which is the addition of the amplitudes of the previous two signals. The duration remains the same because the parent signals had the same duration. Second trick says that step minus step will be zero. This means that subtracting a step from another step signal or uh, having the same amplitudes will result in no signal or a zero signal. If there are uh, amplitudes of different values then they will be subtracted mathematically. Consider u1 of t is a step signal of fin infinite duration and amplitude 1 and u2 of t is a similar step signal but an reverse amplitude of minus 1 and starting at t is equal to 2 but infinite in nature same as u1 of t. Now uh, I, as I said that I want to uh, subtract these step signals but I al already have a negative amplitude so I need not subtract it uh, so I will add u1 of t and u2 of t resultant x, x of t signal will be as shown here. Now for u1 of t for duration 0 to 2 I have nothing for u2 of t so this amplitude of 1 will be traced as it is in the resultant. At t is equal to 2 I get a decrease of minus 1 so there will be a fall which will be steep in nature and it, it will uh, lead to 0. From then or onwards x, uh, my u2 of t is following an amplitude of minus 1 for infinite uh, duration and also my u1 of t is infinite so at all the instances uh, after t is equal to 2 the amplitudes will cancel each other so there will be no signal in the resultant signal so it stops here now as we can see x of t is similar to u u1 of t it is step in nature but it has been uh, turned into a finite duration step signal. 3. Ramp plus ramp gives me 2 ramp. That means that uh, the addition of 2 ramp signals will give me another signal which also be ramp in nature but the slopes of the ramp signals will be added. For a ramp signal what matters is always the slope of that signal which is often denoted as a coefficient besides the mathematical representation of the signal. Consider R1 of t a ramp signal beginning at 0 and continuing till infinity having a slope 1 R2 of t another ramp signal having a slope 2 uh, beginning at 1 and continuing till infinity. When I add these two signals I should have the addition of ramp uh, slopes uh, from t is equal to 1 for both the uh, signals. As it can be seen here the resultant signal x of t is purely ramp but a little different. From 0 to 1 it will be same as R of R1 of t with a slope of 1 but at t is equal to 1 there comes another slope R2 of t into picture so the slope will be added that is slope of R1 of t that is 1 plus slope of R2 of t that is 2 I should get a slope of 3 from t is equal to 1 onwards as it is shown here Fourth trick, ramp minus ramp will give me zero or a step signal. That means subtracting one ramp signal from another ramp signal will yield a zero and it is no signal or a signal that will be step in nature. That depends on the slope of the sub, uh, subtracting ramp signal and the another ramp signal from which it is being subtracted. 
Consider R1 of t, a ramp signal with slope 1 starting at 0 and continuing till infinity. Another ramp signal R2 of t having the slope minus 1 and beginning from t is equal to 1 and continuing till infinity. When I combine these two signals that is R1 and R2 of R1 of t and R2 of t, I should get a resultant signal x of t which will be as follows. From 0 to 1 in the resultant, I will have my x r1 of t traced as it is because for 0 to 1 duration in r2 of t, I have nothing. From t is equal to 1 onwards in r1 of t signal, I have a slope of 1 which is traced as follows. In r2 of t, for from 1, I have a slope of negative 1 which continues like this. So when I add the both signals from the point t is equal to 1 in the resultant, I should have 0 because 1 minus 1 will give me 0 but it will continue as shown here at this point and till infinity because both the RAM signals follow up till infinity. Thus, it can be seen that this is a step signal in nature. Have I Had I begin at t is equal to 0 for r2 of t, I would have got a dead signal 0 at t is equal to 0 onwards in the resultant itself. Now, the final trick, that is trick number 5, step plus or minus ramp will give me a ramp. That is, if I add a ramp signal to a step signal or subtract a ramp signal from a step signal, I should always get a signal which will be ramp in nature. Now for both the different types of signal, the ent entity that matters is sl a slope for the ramp signal and the amplitude for the step signal. Now consider a ramp signal, pure ramp signal R1 of t, uh, beginning at 0, continuing till infinity and having a slope 1. Another uh, step signal of infinite duration, u1 of t, beginning at t is equal to 1 and having an amplitude of 1. Now, when I combine these two signals, that is r1 of t and u1 of t, I should have the following signal. For 0 to 1 duration, in R1 of t, I have a slope, a pure slope of 1, that is R1 of t, which is traced as it is. Now, at, at time t is equal to 1, uh, U1 of t comes into picture. So, this amplitude, that is the rise from 0 to 1, should be uh, traced out here at this point from t is equal to uh, 1, and it will go up to Two, that is that is uh, addition of amplitude of 1. Now, from this point onwards, my slope of R, uh, R1 of t, that is slope of 1, will continue as it is till infinity. That is, for uh, increase of unit of time in, one, uh, in time direction of 1, I should have a slope increase of 1 in the y direction. The slope is traced uh, like this. It is similar to the slope of R1 of t and the slope that is traced from 0 to 1. All that is different in this signal is the increase in the amplitude uh, at point t is equal to 1, which is because of the inclusion of the uh, your infinite step signal u1 of t. Now, to summarize, I have written all the tricks that we have seen so far in this tutorial. The first one, step plus step will give me two step. The second, step minus step will give me zero. These two tricks are related to the step functions and what matters is the amplitude. The third trick, ramp plus ramp will give me two ramp and ramp minus ramp will give me zero or a step. The thing that is different in the fourth trick is that subtracting one RAM signal from another RAM signal is subjective to the slope of the RAM signal and also it can yield a step signal or a zero signal that depends on the uh, point in the time direction from which the ramp is started. Fifth trick step plus minus ramp or ramp plus minus step that is addition or subtraction between a ramp and a step signal will always result in a ramp signal